skill and talent can be developed through hard work, good strategies, persistence, dedication and input from others. Where focus goes, energy flows. So focus your energy on continuous learning and stop wasting time thinking about looking smart. Build resistance, build vulnerability, build courageousness and face adversity with a smile. Become comfortable with uncomfortable. You know, the only person that you need to prove anything to is you. Imperfect action trumps perfect inaction. Stop wasting time and get on with it. Failure is part of learning, so start learning by taking action. Christian Lavolsi, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. How are you going? It's our, officially our first day back in the office. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm wonderful. I haven't felt this good in uh, in a long time coming back to the office and it's been a fantastic day so far. So uh, it's been full steam ahead. Uh, it's like I never left. <laughs> a bit, a and bit definitely like the, late, the latency in this ski cam. <laughs> I know, right? It doesn't seem to uh, be our friend at all. Now, we weren't scheduled to do a hot seat today, but we thought we'll jump on, we'll get on live and just say hello, see what people are up to and talk about some, um, I wanted to talk about some of the goals or the reflections that you personally had or things that we shared with our clients at the end of last year and coming into this year. Now, like, as you've said before, if you haven't already done your plan, you're already behind, but... <laughs> Let's talk about what the three critical questions you ask yourself at the end of 2023. What were those three big things that you reflected on at the end of the year? Yeah, wow, you didn't start light, did you? Um, <laughs> Get into it. I think what's really important before I sort of reveal those questions is that we're in ever, we are in an ever-evolving world that is filled with with fleeting moments and transient pleasures, right? So living with purpose actually emerges now as a touchstone of a meaningful life. And it's the compass that gives us direction. So it's the anchor that provides stability amongst storms. And for me, it's the fuel that propels any one person forward, even on the most um, audacious of journeys, okay? So... <laughs> You know, Mark Twain famously said, and it's one of my favorite quotes, quotes, the two most important days in your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. So living with purpose is a choice. Um, and you see, it's not the circumstances that we're in that shape our future, but the decisions that we make. So in, in, I needed to provide that context first <clears throat> so that people can understand why I ask myself these three questions. And I do this every single year. And uh, I think what's really important is this is where most people struggle. They don't know where to start. So if you're one of those people, you know, um, then just listen to these three questions, grab a piece of paper and a pen or watch the replay. Um, someone said, hey, guys, I don't know who it is because it just says Facebook user. Uh, but hey... <laughs> Hi. Um, so question number one, how do you want to grow professionally in 2024? Question one, how do you want to grow? Now, this is whether you're a business owner, whether you're an executive, whether you're a student, how do you want to grow? You know, it's your opportunity. Uh, is it lagging really badly? I just saw your lips move. It is a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think really importantly, how do you want to grow professionally? And secondly then, Simple question, how do you want to grow personally in 2024? Oh, by the way, it's Tara and Kyle. Hi, Tara and Kyle. Um, so uh, how I've are you? I think... On Friday, so you'll be officially meeting them on Friday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. You know how, how, how laggy that is? I think you came through about 10 seconds after I was already thinking of answering. Um, <laughs> so, look... Uh, I, I normally don't apologize, but I have to apologize for Ecamm's 
uh, failure to deliver on its fee structure and provide and and uh, you know a, a platform that at least we can tell. But anyway, we'll get on with it. Um, so, how do you want to grow personally? Really simple question, but no one asks themselves that. How do you want to personally grow? Um, I know Simone, you ask yourself that question all the time. You're a professional development uh, junkie, as I call it. You love to learn and you love to grow, which, by the way, I think everybody needs to have that curiosity. Uh, I know um, your little boy, Blake, he's got that curiosity. Uh, my children have that. Um, you know, and then the, the final question uh, is, how can my team, remember these are the questions I ask myself, how can my team support me in accomplishing my goals? Right. Now, mm -hmm. a question you might want to ask if you don't have a team <clears throat> is how can your coach, how can your advisor help you? You know, I know that at the end of last year, we ran a workshop for all of our clients. Um, we had uh, about 30 people uh, that actually turned up. It was a last minute uh, workshop called The Compass that we ran. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, out of 90-odd clients, that's how many came. And and and, and they, they were like, Christian, this is incredible. Two hours of just reflection opportunity and asking yourself the tough, tough questions. But the question that I asked everybody else is, how am, I, how am I going to help you in 2024? You're paying me, right? Ask yourself, how, you help, how, do, how am I going to help you? How's Simone going to help you? How's everybody in your team? You know, you, the onus is on you as an individual, right, to seek out what you want if you want to strive and grow and develop. So, you know, and I said earlier, most people, Simone, they simply struggle to do the thinking in order to create the freedom they desire in their life. And this is yeah. why they are stuck. So I guess if this is you and you're tuning in, then tune in carefully, but make a conscious effort right now to unstuck yourself by being open, but also by being deliberate in the way you think and in the way you take action. Mm. Okay. And and what's your process for doing that? Because it's one thing to think about it. Should you be writing this down? Should you be putting it somewhere that you're looking at all the time? Or what, what is your process of reflection? Well, well, uh, it's not so much reflection at this point. At this point, it is just me writing, you know, how I want to grow professionally, personally, and then how anyone around me can help me get there. So I'm not actually mm -hmm. doing any reflection at this point. Um, this is that initial part of, well, okay, what is it that I want, right? You know, yeah. um, so many people don't ask themselves that, Simone. You know, most people go, oh, yeah, it's 2024. I'm going to get smashed on New Year's Eve. And, uh, and then I'll start a fitness regime, lose some weight. I mean, come on, you know me. How full on has my transition been? I, I don't even transit from year to year. This is the first year, I believe, that I was actually still awake at midnight. Right? <laughs> and, 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 and we were very intentional about how we celebrated you know, New Year's Eve with um, two of our best friends, like they're couples, and we spent it you know, overlooking you know, beautiful Dinga Beach of the Esplanade. And, um, you know, and we were so intentional even about what we ate and what we drank that we planned it months ahead. And, uh, you know, a lot of people that know what we consumed, uh, especially in the wine industry, are quite envious. Um, I, I won't say what the dollar value was of what we consumed over two days, but it was it was absolutely ludicrous. And the way we wanted it to, we agreed that we wanted to send out a fantastic year, but also celebrate the, the greatest year that was yet to come. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, but that's about being intentional. And that's what I was referring to earlier. So the first mm -hmm. step, you know, so many people go, oh, let's reflect first. What I'm saying is, you, know, you asked me a very deliberate question. What is it that I do? Well, these are the three questions I asked myself before the year ended. In fact, yeah. I was answering them in mid-November, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I then do the reflective piece after, but I always teach people reflection first because mm -hmm. they don't know how to be intentional to begin with. I think it's actually a really tricky question to say, what do you want? Because... I know personally, this is something I've struggled with. I don't always know what I want or I've asked myself, what does success look like for me? And that's, I don't, I feel like that's a hard question. It's, it's a big question. 
that's because you're still finding your feet. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is so laggy. I, I, I cannot sit there and try and watch you speak. <laughs> um, all right. Wait, have you got more questions? I do. Okay. So my second question is, what should people reflect on in order to build a purpose-driven life in 2024? Right. Okay. So um, after the delayed giggles, um, reflection. It's probably my favorite part of most things that I do. Um, three questions here are really simple. Um, everything that I try and teach people is simple because people overcomplicate and overthink. So what brought you the most joy in 2023? You know, that's the simplest question. What, what, what brought you the most joy in 2023? The second question that I always ask myself is what were you most proud of in 2023? All right. We got some little people. I can't see who that is. That that Blake. Hey, buddy. It's Hi. Blake. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. So then while Blake's talking to Simone, the third one is what filled your cup and gave you fulfillment in 2023? Right? Watching Blake dance always gives me fulfillment. Um, <laughs> and it brings me a lot of joy, actually. I said to Simone, didn't I, this morning, where's Blake? Where's, where's my buddy? You know, he hasn't jumped on a call yet to say hi to me. Um, and she's like, no, nope, I put him, I put him in, day, that, what is it? Like SEA, like Osh for the day. Look at him. The dancing machine. Yeah. <laughs> New moves in 2024. I know, um, yeah. But I think it's really important. A lot of people think that you have to ask yourself these really complex, difficult questions. But keeping it simple is so important. Like, look at Blake. He, 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 the joy that he just brought me and others and anyone watching is that he could just sit there and dance like no one is watching him. You know? <laughs> and isn't that cool? Like, I wish we as adults could do that. And, and yeah. that's what I'm saying. So, what, you know, to, 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 in order for you to build a purpose driven life in 24, you need to know what brought you joy in 23, what you were proud of in 23, and what filled your cup. And gave you fulfillment. Now, if you're one of those really miserable, fu well, if you I almost lost G rating, if you're one of those miserable people who had nothing to celebrate in 2023, then get off this damn call. I'm not your person, right? Like it's, in, and, and I certainly don't want to be your rescue and savior because that's just not what it's about. You are the only person that can control your outcome, right? Be it yeah. in business, be it in life. You know, and people often say to me, oh, Christian, how do you build this mindset that you have? Well, you know, that's taken years and years and years of resilience, you know, years of uh, perseverance, years of diving in and, and learning and having a go. But more importantly, it's actually the first three questions. I know how I want to grow. I know how I want to grow both professionally and personally. And I also know uh, my, how my support network can help me. I'm very, you know, I'm an easy book to go, hey, this is what I want. Yeah, I think that's really cool. And obviously a big part of that is everyone knowing um, the journey that we're on and where we're going and everyone being on the same bus, right, which is an analogy that you use of Jim Collins quite often of making sure that everyone's clear on what, what the future holds and are they on the right seat as well. All right, let's go. One more question before we can get off this really bad laggy live. Um, how can people cultivate a purpose-driven mindset for 2024? I know that mindset is such an important part of what you teach and what you tell people. So if you're not feeling like you're in that best mindset, like, how do you actually build on that? How do you cultivate that for yourself, for your teams, for those people around you? Great question. Um, I love how always your third question is where I have to give away a lot of freedom, a lot of free information. Um, all right. Let me start with this. Historically, the, the search for purpose um, has been the central theme of human existence, right? So, you know, philosophers, theologians, uh, and thinkers have all grappled with this, I guess, uh, existential question, why am I here? What is my role? How can I lead a life of significance? And, you know, that's not me. That's Viktor Frankl, right? Now, 
Um, Victor Frankl is a renowned psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor um, uh, that poised that the, the primary human drive is actually not pleasure, but in fact the pursuit of meaning. And in his groundbreaking work, uh, Victor Frankl actually, in the book The Man's Search for Meaning, uh, Frankl actually uh, emphasizes that even in the bleakest of situations, individuals uh, can find purpose, and therein lies the key to resilience and perseverance. So I, I wanted to make that a, a very clear statement because I, I am not an expert in mindset. I, um, I am a thief of uh, mindset experts. Okay, so yeah, people like Viktor Frankl who have endured um, uh, uh, an overwhelming amount of um, you know uh, pain uh, and and had to grow and learn from that. So for me, it's really learning from the masters and 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 the educators, the philosophers, Car- you know, Professor Caroline Dwake or Carol Dwake, um, you know, uh, who wrote the book Mindset, but. Let me tell you quickly what the benefits of living with a purpose-driven life, right, or with a purpose. One of them is alignment, because when you have purpose, you have meaning. And when you align your personal and professional life, you have focus, right? So as Tony Robbins uh, famously says, you know, where focus goes, energy flows, right? The second thing is, it's like Viktor Frankl says, it's resilience, Individuals with a clear sense of purpose, well, they tend to navigate life's challenges with more resilience, and their purpose acts as a as a beacon guiding them through the tumultuous waters. Now, we know that our customers in customers in demand, uh, as well as our Evolve program, like to refer to me as this, you know, lighthouse and. Um, and, and, you know, I shine a light on a path for them and also make sure that they don't hit the cliff's edge. As a strategist, I'm actually writing the strategies in order for that not to happen. Um, but, you know, that's, that's another factor. Now, the other thing, three, fulfillment, right? So living um, with purpose transcends the ordinary, Simone, and, and it brings a, a, a huge sense of satisfaction and fulfillment, which, you know, fleeting pleasures and material achievements often fail to deliver. And that, to me, is one of the biggest areas of the benefits of living with purpose. But, you know, the the, the science, the data, is now uh, showing that it actually will improve your health. So there's been numerous studies, right, that individuals with a strong sense of purpose tend to have better mental and physical health, and they are less prone to stress, depression, and even some chronic illnesses. Right. Um, so I and I'm doing a lot of research in this area because it's mind blowing. Right. So but the final one that's really, really important as to why living uh, a purpose driven life and therefore developing that mindset is that purpose provides clarity. So when one knows their why, their how becomes more streamlined and leading to better focus and better productivity. So in order. Right. Because I know that's what listeners are thinking and and they're saying, okay, well, that's all great. So how, right? Well, here's the gold because someone loves to ask question three to give away gold, right? Um, Thank God we do really well. But, um, you know, focus on reflecting on what brought you the most joy in 2023. What were Mm -hmm. you most proud of of in 2023? What filled your cup and gave you fulfillment in 2023? And then ask yourself honestly, you know, how do you want to grow professionally in 24? How do you want to grow personally in 24? And then how can your coach, advisor, and team support you in achieving those goals? Now, that's all well and good. I've just referred you back to the original questions. But what you need to do is you need to be purposeful. Otherwise, don't do it. You know, and that's the part that, you know, I'm so uh, driven about. And you can already see the, it's intoxicating for me when I get onto this because, you know, stop doing the shit that doesn't matter. Start doing the things that will move you forward and keep doing what you love. You know, so many people do shit they hate. Why? Why waste your time? And, you know, I'm sick and tired of people who say to me, oh, but it's all well and good. You found your purpose. Yeah, mate, you can pay me and I can help you find yours. But no, you won't. <laughs> Because you're going to sit on the fence and be a witching, bitching, complaining victim. 
right? So that's how you develop a mindset for winning, right? You can't sit and complain. Now, I know, I know it's hard out there to find someone with integrity and reliability and trustworthiness and shit. Don't believe anything I say. Go talk to our thousands of customers, right? Yeah. They're not even our customers anymore. They're my freaking tribe, right? Like they are my people, right? Um, you know, I always love, I always love, um, you know, Amanda McNeil, one of our clients. Um, she, oh, I knew she, you were going to say this. Go yeah. on. And I mean, I'm going to put it up. I chose you over Tony Christian, right? I mean, that is one of the, I can't believe this actually has stayed permanently on here. But my point is, I'm going to remove that. But I didn't say that. But to me, you know, even today, one of my biggest clients, big engineering firm, right? That that's changing the landscape of of the of the world, right? They 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 you know. Jeremy sent me the most heartwarming email, thanking me, and you know it blew me away. When you can do shit like this for people, and you love it, so do what you love, because when you love what you do for the people that love what you do. Guess what happens? Magic. And that's called purpose. Yeah. 100%. And just for reference there, when you said that uh, Amanda chose you over Tony, she was referring to Tony Robbins. <laughs> and, she's <laughs> that, not the, uh, and she's not the first and not the last either. So, you know, and, I, and I'm certainly, I don't put myself anywhere near the quality and humility and integrity of that man. Like, no way. Right? Like, mm. Tony has has set the stage for so many people the what the coaching industry owes tony robbins is immeasurable right and and it's why because he's made it mainstream but also what he's done is he's done the research studies with stanford he's invested yeah. his own money to validate because people used to call him a fraud how dare mm -hmm. you you know and now the data is coming out and you know what it's like amen hallelujah mate I have been singing your praises, Tony, since the first day that I was a concierge in Sydney and every car, every luxury car that I drove had a cassette playing of Tony Robbins, the late night guru, right? And it's like when people used to sit there and say to me, why, do you, why, why, do you, why have you got this guy with his gigantic head and hands, you know? And I mean, sure, he didn't market himself ideally in the new world order. But, man, he's come a long way. And, you know, I, I hear women all the time say to me now, he's a very handsome man. Age did wonders for him. I'm not sure if there's any surgery there, Tony. Might have to come out. But it could be all those ice baths and plunge balls and, you know, everything else. But, but you know, I, I just think that we, we, we fail to recognize these people that laid the stepping stones and foundations. Um, and I'm not, you know, I'm, I, I'm not a guru. Like, it's, it, you know, as I said, I I am... Um, I, I like the scientific stuff. Um, you know, I'm a balance between an academic and a practitioner. I was a practitioner first, academic mm -hmm. second. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of the fact that I did both and learnt both. You know, and was able to apply both. And you're laughing. I don't know why you're laughing because the lag is so far out of whack that it could have been something I said 35 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> Well, the, the fun of Ecamm, but I, I honestly, everyone that I've spoken to and everyone that I'm talking to is really pumped for 2024. They're really feeling like this is a huge year for them, for themselves personally, for professionally. This is the year where so many people are feeling like they are going to make a huge contribution to the world, to their families, to their communities. And I have no doubt that we are absolutely doing the same thing. Yeah, I mean, look, Simone, it is, I think people who laid the foundations in 2023 energetically are going to have huge 24s. So, you know, I, I know that our clients are very, very lucky. Um, actually, what am I saying? We are very lucky that we have had the privilege to work with so many people in 23 and already all of them are already having outstanding results. Mm. It's funny how you're still talking on on my end. 
<laughs> this is so random. All right, Christian Lavolsi, let's wrap it up because this is really frustrating. If it's a frustrating for us being on this live, I can just assume how frustrating it is for our listeners out there. So, Christian Lavolsi, welcome back to the office to our first day back on board. Although we've been doing some bits and pieces over the break, this is our first official day back. We'll be back with the hot seats from next Wednesday, 5 p.m. Sydney time. You can catch them across YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So join in, have a conversation. So if you have questions, if you want to have a chat about how we can help you on your journey for 2024, please feel free to reach out to me and we'll have a chat. Cool. Well, thank you for those of you that tuned in. Thank you to Tara and Kyle. I think I'm meeting you guys on Friday, which is going to be awesome. Uh, until then, uh, as always, live with purpose. Working with Christian is a game changer. Hi, I'm Adrian Lee from GrowthLink Coaching and Consulting. I started working with Christian in August 2020 as his LinkedIn growth consultant. We worked together on his LinkedIn brand for about 12 months before becoming business partners in Growth Outsourced late 2021. Christian is a hidden genius. He helped me break through a significant financial target by restructuring my growth consulting online business offer. I don't know of any one person who can give you so much focus, clarity, and structure to live your purpose and get shit done. He holds you accountable to your words and gives you the tough love when you need it. I love his no BS approach to business and life. Everyone needs a Christian Lavolsi in their life. Do whatever you have to to work with Christian. This is just the beginning for us and I am super pumped to continue growing together. Thanks again, Christian.